Hello friends, this is Ankush Bhatt with CADIA tutorial number 15. In this tutorial, we will learn about the translate tool and the rotate tool. On the left hand side, we have CADIA V5 window and on the right hand side, we have step by step instructions for the whole tutorial which you can write down. So let's start by creating a new file. Go to start, mechanical design, part design, give a file name to your file as I am giving it Jimmy. So a new file with file name Jimmy has been created. So choose any plane from the part tree as I am going with XY plane or you can choose it directly from here the YZ plane and then select the sketcher tool. This is the sketcher workbench. These are the sketcher tools which we learnt in our previous videos on, this, on the right interface, bottom interface and at the top interface. This is the transformation tool and by clicking at the bottom arrow we get the mirror tool, symmetry tool, translate tool the rotate tool, scale tool and the offset tool. We can reach to these tools through insert, operation, transformation then we have translate and rotate here as we have learned about the mirror tool and symmetry tool in the previous videos and in this video we will learn about the translate and rotate tool and in further videos we will learn about the scale and offset tool. Let's create some sketches to learn about these tools. Just select the sketch you want to translate as its name suggests translate means to translate any sketch from one place to another place or we can say that we can create duplicate instances of that sketch in any direction. So let's select the sketch with the help of the control key holding the control key and with the left click of a mouse we have selected our sketch and then pick up the translate tool. First of all define the starting point or we can say the pick up point of the sketch from where we can pick up the sketch as we have defined it here now just we have two cases here first case when the duplicate mode is off here like this and the second case when the duplicate mode is on so we need duplicate mode when we need this option like when we need to do switch off the duplicate mode is when we don't need to create any duplicate instances for our sketch like as I'm doing right now just provide the value of the length it's the length between the two sketches so I am providing it 100 and then provide the distance or you can see the direction of the sketch where we want to, where you want to translate so we can see we have translated our sketch to some different direction and with a distance of 100 mm and the original sketch has been removed but this is not with the case of duplicate mode when the duplicate mode is on let's work on that select the tool select you can select the sketch by the selection window also just switch on the duplicate mode define the pickup point from the sketch now we can see we can create some duplicate instances of our sketch at any direction we can increase or decrease the number of duplicate sketches as I am just keeping to 4 now define the value between two consecutive sketches as I am keeping it 50 now define the direction where we want to translate it or we want to duplicate these sketches and click ok so we can see that we have duplicated our sketches four times and the original sketch is as it is so we can say that the difference in the between duplicate mode off and on is that in when the duplicate mode is off the original sketch is being removed and when the duplicate mode is on the original sketch remains as it is so moving on towards the rotate tool just click at the bottom arrow here is the rotate tool let's create a sketch first so here we have a rectangle just select the sketch by just control key like we did in translate tool it's same as translate tool but it just creates instances or just translates in rotation direct rotatory direction pick up the tool just switch all the duplicate mode at first give the center point from where we want to rotate it and then give the reference point from the sketch from which we want to rotate our sketch now we can see the first point we defined was the center point and the second point was the point of circumference or we can say the reference point from which we can drag the sketch you can provide the angle as I am providing in 90 degree here so we can see a sketch has been rotated by 90 degree and as the duplicate mode was off 
as in the translate case the original sketch has been removed now let's work with the duplicate mode on select the rotation tool switch on the duplicate mode now as the instances you can increase or decrease the instances just before that define the center point of rotation define the pickup point of the sketch now we can see that a lot of instances have been created on our sketch on we can define the angle between the two consecutive sketch before in translate tool we define the length between two consecutive sketch but in rotation tool we will define the angle between two consecutive sketch as I am giving it 10 degree selecting ok so now we had created 43 instances of our sketch with a difference of 10 degree and here we created the translate translatory instances with the four instances 